Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Taxi Schooling and today we're gonna talk about the word osmosis. All right, before getting ahead to understand what is osmosis, I must ask you a question and in the end I'll be going to answer that question. That is, do you still feel thirsty after drinking a lot of sugar water and juices in Ramadan? I mean, you're fasting, after a lot of period of fasting, you eat something sugary food or, or something uh, sugary drink or juice and you feel thirsty. For example, you are going outside and, and you are thirsty. You are going to buy a Coke or any drink and you drink it, but you still feel thirsty. Why is that so? So we are going to discuss that in this scenario because it's all related to the osmosis all right so let's get started uh, before getting to understand the osmosis we should understand a few terms we have here the uh, water water molecules and we have in between the semi permeable membrane so semi the word semi which actually means the semi which is means half permeable means permeability how much it is going to allow which permeability means allow allowance or allow semi-permeable membrane so this membrane allow half which we are using the word half we actually mean that it allows some particles to pass through it and some don't this particle that are small enough to pass through it like these water molecules these are our water molecules which are in abundance so anything which is in abundance we call it solvent all right so water molecule is our solvent which actually continuously move here and there all right they are continuously in random motion and in the beginning we have equal concentration of water on the both side of this semi permeable membrane all right look at here moving in a random direction could pass from here to here like there is nothing no and let us now introduce something uh, let us let us consider we are now introducing the solutes all right this is uh, something a big solute Consider this is uh, as a glucose molecule. All right. So in case that we have more concentration of solute in this side, from this, uh, as pr uh, on the other side of this side of the semi permeable membrane, and we have less concentration of solute. So, what happens? The water has the probability to move from this side towards this side because these solutes have the ability to attract molecules because we have uh, two kinds uh, two kinds of things like this water is not going there uh, maybe due to mechanical blockage sometimes these solutes block uh, these solutes block this side and the water cannot move over there and these water and the water from this side constantly moves and other condition that is the attractant you know these molecules try to attract more water towards this side towards this side of the semi-permeable membrane. But sometimes what happens, we have an accurate example that is, uh, for example, you are taking sodium chloride, that is a table sugar, you're taking so, and which actually when most of the, uh, uh, the solution actually breaks into sodium, which is plus, and the chloride, which is negative, all right? So what happens, it attracts more water. So this sodium, if for example, we've got sodium here, plus we got chlorine, negative alone and so it actually attracts more water towards this side decreasing the water level on the other side of the semi permeable, uh, semi permeable membrane and increasing the water molecule number of water molecules on this side so what happens the water has a two two uh two sides but there is they have got negative and the positive side this is uh, the oxygen which is positive side and we have hydrogen oh, so oxygen we have negative part and the hydrogen we have positive part so, it, for example, in case of chlorine, the positive part is going to be here. Uh, this is the oxygen, which is positive. Hydrogen on the negative side. All right. So, this is how on the sodium side, uh, sorry, hydrogen positive, oxygen negative. So, this is going to attract towards the sodium. But on the chlorine side, we've got hydrogen plus attracted here. And on the hydrogen molecule and the oxygen, which is positive on the other side all right 
So this is how the water molecules are attracted to the chlorine, and in a similar way, it's also attracted to other solutes in the semi-permeable membrane. So if we, if we have a lot of sol, if we have a lot of solute on this side, so what happens? Water is going to be sucked up from that side and moves towards the other side of the semi-permeable membrane. So this is called the osmosis. In order to put a proper definition for osmosis, we can say it is actually a process. A process by which movement of solvent you know these are a lot of you mean solvent which means anything that is a, a lot in number we can just say a lot in number which makes actually the solu uh, solution a process by which movement of solvent tend to pass through a semi permeable membrane from a less concentration look we have less concentration we you can say from a less soluted area which means less soluted or less concentrated solution into a more concentrated one again a process by which movement of solvent tend to pass through a semi permeable membrane from a less concentration solution to a more concentrated solution so this is the definition proper definition of osmosis and and the question we asked in the beginning that why we feel thirsty so it's very simple like you are you are continuously taking a lot of sugar like you're taking a juice which actually has a lot of sugar in it so your body what happens in your extracellular fluid you have got a lot of sugar the water molecules are going out of your cells and moving toward and in your bloodstream and your cells are uh, are are lacking proper uh, or normal water so what happens the water is going to get sucked up so you feel thirsty so you need more water in order to counterbalance this so this is all about the osmosis for anything new you want to understand please make uh, make sure that you comment us and tell us we'll be going to make a video about it thank you